Hi there, and welcome to Maroon Warlock Gaming. I'm Maroon Warlock. We are in round three of our Legacy Challenge today, running Black Red Reanimator, sitting at 1-1. One and one. And uh, last I checked, 28th place. Not that that matters this early in the tournament, but it's a thing. Uh, sadly, we did not win the die roll, which means we're probably playing on the draw in two separate games. Mm. Hmm. I can't keep this. If I'm in a tournament setting, I don't have a target to actually reanimate. I am on the draw, but I'm not turn one comboing with this. So we're going to mulligan that down. Uh, we'll run it only because we have Brutality Ritual Reanimate. If our draw is nice, we can win turn one. That is not what we want, so we're going to bottom that. We're going to keep this. I don't really want to go to five if I don't have... Are we playing the mirror? Are we playing the mirror? Did we get there? <clears throat> nope. Oh, that's even worse. We're on a... Either bug mid, bug delver, or something of the like. Uh, we're going to go with delts. Uh, we're going to get the bad lines to start. I'm honestly tempted to Brutality to get rid of Death Rite, but I can actually hold off on that. We're going to start with the Thought Seize. Alright, it's looking like a Delver deck. Excuse me. They can him next turn. Um... The question is, do they Strix over a him? They Strix him in a bad spot. But, I mean, they'll Strix regardless. Um, that's shitty. The problem with him is that him screws me big time if they hit the right stuff. I gotta get rid of the him. Him's the choice there. I use a collective to try to deal with the force. Or I just get ballsy and play through the force, but I'm not sure. Yep, there's the Baleful Strix, that's fine. ETB's draw card, that's fine. We need to get target. They don't know we're on reanimator yet, I don't think. They probably think we're just having a slow game. So we need to take advantage of that while we can, and of course, that's not happening. Uh, do I do that just so I can get value here? Let's crack the fetch first. Let's deal with that. Get our bad lands. Hmm. So my thought process is I can collect a dark ritual into a brutality, into a reanimate. Escalate for one. Discarding the swamp. Try to pull out their, uh, actually let's see. They played the Valk Island. They played the Strix. They got two mystery cards. Ah, uh, that sucks. I think that's the choice, though. I don't like it. I'm debating if I want to take the Strix or if I want to take DRS. I think I take the Strix if I do this because it keeps DRS from attacking me. No, no, I take DRS because if I do this this way, because... First off, let's see, because I'm going to do it anyway. Let's see if they let me do a Dark Ritual, because I need to do that first. That's first things first. Uh, escalate two modes, kill a creature, pseudo-duress them. <sighs> Actually, because it's relevant, do I need green? Oh, I don't want to do that. Alright, cancel. Uh, 
Yeah, we're going to say DRS. I was going to say, if it's the other way around, where it's the greens for the creature, or rather greens for the sorcery and so I had to make sure. Um, do that. Pitch the swamp. Let's see if they have the force ready to go. There's the force, what they exile, they got revelable, that's honestly a very valuable trade. Um, that's fine. Um, we're in a bad spot because we didn't top what we needed to top to start this game. Um, they lost force, they just played a land, which means they still have the diabolic. Okay, they drop Jay. I think they're dropping Jace here. So they're probably... Yeah, they're gonna drop a Jace. Yep. What? Who is this? What does this do? Graveyard of a card cast. That's actually kind of neat. Okay, so basically Snapcaster every turn. That's actually kind of annoying. Each of your turns, that's also very ma relevant and major. Taking one. Uh, taking the one. Top deck heaven right now, I think, is either Entomb or Faithless Looting. That was not top deck heaven. Three, four, five... Three, four, five, six. We're gonna play it out one more turn. If I don't hit what I need, I'm kind of screwed. We'll see if they... Yeah, they did the right choice there, thank God. Actually, if they do him, I might just concede. Oh, they can't him! At least not easily. It's still not good. Bright side is they're off green right now. Without another DRS. That's fine. Three, four, five. Okay, I'm still not quite dead yet, but I'm pretty damn close. Um, three, four, five, six, correction. Still not dead, but pretty damn close. They probably think I'm on Storm or Reanimator, because Dark Ritual was played. <sighs> yeah, no, we're gonna go to next game. Deck kind of fizzled out on us there. Uh, I like Blazing Archon. I like... Do I like Pithing? I kind of like Pithing. I really like Pithing. Because DRS kind of screws us. I like Duress. Uh, Sire is a dead card here. Definitely. Um, Tide Spout's pretty close to a dead card. Zoom feels a little bad. Uh, I like to, when I'm not sure what what to do, I usually or in that regard for the reanimation spells because this is one of those decks where it has to. Actually, Iona can probably go out. So what do I name with Iona for a color? They're on. Um, I'm assuming either Bug Delver or Grixis straight up. Although they're running a card I was not expecting to see. Um, hmm. I like Grave Titan here. I want to flood the board against them. Uh, if I keep Iona, I can name Black to keep them from doing things. 
the collectives are my removal. We got a chancellor, I think. We'll go with that. Uh, I would love to play first. Uh, I'm gonna try this. We don't have a reanimation effect, but we have two lootings. And I'm willing to keep the aggressive hand here. Um, Alright, so we're gonna start this out. Like I said, we might luck out that they don't know we're on reanimator yet. They're gonna know now. We're just gonna suck. Uh... Big Grizz is easily won. Do I want the Titan in there, or do I want Iona? Titan I could potentially cast at some point in this game. That's the way I look at that. I think I'd take the Iona and put it in there as well. I'll leave the Blazing Archon in for now. Though it'll probably be one of the first things in there. If I get the Animate Dead to resolve. Let's see. They're gonna ponder. What do they do? <sighs> they do not shuffle, which means they like what they're drawing. Um... fetch or another badlands we gotta try it so that's just how this deck is we need to go all in if they force us they force us um yep they're gonna force or surgical if they side in surgical knowing we're on reanimate without seeing a damn thing that's impressive because they didn't see our hand at all that was a good guess um, yeah, we lost Grizzle. That happens. Um, that's a little surprised. They're going to take their sweet time checking to see what we have in there for them. Luckily, two of our targets... Ah, no, they still see that because they see our hand. So they, they, they know what we're on, and they know everything that we're about and how we're going to try to combat them, which kind of sucks, but... You win some, you lose some, I guess. So yeah, that's gonna fizzle. Um, next turn we go looting and try to grab something off of this. Uh, that surgical set us back a lot. I had to go with grabbing big grizz, so like that's the play. Just I don't have a way to prevent that. Strix is fine. Whoopee. Uh, if I get Blazing Archon out at this point, that might be the best. Uh, we're gonna want the Swamp. Red Faithless. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I, I always do this. I side out Tide Spy, side out Grizzle, tied out a Chancellor, brought in Blazing Archon and Grave Titan. I took out Sire. Okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. Holy crap. I think I go this route. We're going to exhume. Oh, they're letting it happen. Cool. Um, do I want Grave Titan or do I want Blazing Archon? Or Iona. I like Iona right now. Because I can put Iona out and name Black. Turns off Death Rite. Turns off the removal. The Grave Titan gives me a bunch of bodies comes down to do I want a crap ton of bodies in case they have the diabolic or do I want the one body and risk getting jaced uh eeny meeny miny I'm just kidding I'm not gonna do that Archon's not coming in yet because I don't have protection against removal on him um I'm liking the titan 
because I get those two extra zombies, which are effectively protection against the likely removal that they're going to have. Um, because, no, if I take Iona, I name either blue or black. The thing is, like, with these kind of decks, I notice that, like, the blue is mostly for card draw to get to whatever they need, whether it be a black card or a red card or a green card or whatever. That, and if I take Iona, I'm naming black. Because, like, at that point, I died a Jace the Mind Sculptor, but I keep them from casting most of their relevant cards that I don't want to deal with. Fetching out of a Juka bag. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so bad. Um, there's another Strix. That's fine. Do your thing. I think I grab Elish next, now I'm thinking about it. We'll start with a ritual. We're gonna faithless. Jeez. Uh if I dark ritual I go up to four, tap the red. I have enough for another faithless plus. I don't think the thoughts he's helped me at this point. I might have fucked up there. We're gonna faithless again. I can't do math either, I just realized that. Joy of joys. Uh we're gonna get rid of the entomb this time. We're gonna thought seize him now. The hymns are dead. Brainstorm's relevant. Diabolic Edict is relevant. Um, no, that's a bad idea. Let's take the Diabolic. Hope for the best. I'm not attacking with Titan only because one of those tricks just immediately blocks the Titan. Congrats, I lose a Titan. Although I have a bunch of zombies afterwards. Like, the hymns are dead cards, so I imagine their next turn is going to be Bloodstained Mire, Brainstorm, draw three, put the hymns back, crack the fetch. That's the line I would do. Um, if I hit another remove uh, reanimation spell, the Grave Titan just comes straight back, probably. I think I swing in. I wasn't, but I swing in with him, I get two zombies. And one of these guys is probably getting through. This is one of those instances, though, where you get reminded that Exhumed's just not as good as you want it to be here. But I gotta get rid of those Strixes. So yeah, no, I expect... Yep, Brainstorm. Yep. I almost guarantee these two are gone. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I technically don't know, but that's the smart play. I'm top-decking here. Another Strix. Oh, Jace. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, that's gonna be bad, though. What does he do when he flips? Does he bounce things? I think he bounces things. I like how they don't let you see the other side when you do the preview pane. I appreciate that. Cell phone gatherer. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. God damn it. Alright, let me think. Of all the reanimation spells, that was the one I didn't want to hit. Uh, Jace, Friends, Prodigy. I just, I need to know what his flip does, and I can't think of it at the top of my head. Transform. Fog out a zombie, effectively, a minus two, minus O. Oh, flashback a card from your graveyard. Uh, an emblem, whenever you cast a spell, target pump puts the top... Okay, that doesn't matter. It's gonna be the minus three where his value comes in. Alright, let's start with an attack. See what they do here. Alright, so 
So if I exhume Grave Titan, I get two more zombies, which means two, four, six, eight, ten, plus six is sixteen. He fogs one with Jace when Jace flips, because Jace will flip. He blocks one zombie with a Baleful Strix that he gets back off the Exhume. Yeah, I think that's the line. I think I have to let him have a Baleful Strix back. Is there any other creatures in there? No. I hate doing this, because I know it's a bad choice. No. Oh, what are they doing? Let's see it. Do they have another Surgical? Brainstorming. They're digging for enough. They know if I let this resolve, I'm probably getting this done with. Can I do it? Yeah! Titan. That's fine. Draw your card. I don't think there's much you can do here. Um, because Jace flips into... Plane blocker. Actually, you probably don't even flip them right now. You can't. Because I'll just kill you on board at that point. Brutality just ends this off the top. Um, I'm just trying to think of his outs at this point. Like, what could he possibly do that doesn't involve me winning? And what most likely kills me, to be totally blatantly honest. Okay, ballsy play. He's going to flip Jace. That's fine. Black, black, blue? What are you doing, buddy? I have no idea. Oh, we have old. Okay. Leovold comes in. I don't care about drawing extra cards at this point. This might have been the best play he had. Uh, Blue to probably Brainstorm or Ponder. Ponder. Yeah, no, like, if I, when I own it for black, like, Strix doesn't happen, Leovold doesn't happen, all they have is their blue cards, I can live with that. It was just that they already had two Strixes out, I think, at the time, if I recall correctly. I'm just going to dismiss that, because I don't think any of those cards are there anymore at this point. If they are, cool. If they're not, cool. <laughs> like, okay. Um, I'm loving Grave Titan in this deck, though. It's been feeling good. It might graduate to the main board because of how useful it ends up being a lot of times. And also, like I said before, the fact that you can hard cast them in this deck not easily, but more feasibly than the rest of the deck for the creatures gives them that little bit of extra value. Um, and he's just an all-star in matches like this where I want to flood the board to avoid sack effects because sack effects wreck me. Removal kind of wrecks me a bit. Um... And in this case, all right, so you're going to fog that one out effectively. That's going to get chomped. That's going to get chomped. We still got six on board. Prevents him from fetching. All righty. Yeah, we, we, we got this, I think. We're going straight for the kill. <clears throat> Gotta go for the throat here. Um, yep. Yep. Alright, so they're down to one. Can I just grab Grave Titan again? I think I just grabbed Grave Titan. I don't think there's anything in black that kills me at this point. Grab Grey Titan. That's game. I think. I hope. Yep, that's game. Okay. Game three. I would rather have another anime dead than the exhumes.
to be honest. Like that, I hate exhuming with their baleful strixes. Um, I'm almost tempted to bring in a fairy macabre to try to go out the surgical at some point, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, Sire is really good. We're on the draw. That's that's also a very valid thought. Because this happened last time. And we got boned by a Thoughtseize at a very inconvenient moment. Um, I don't think Tide Spout's worth it. Eidolon isn't worth it here. That's for Storm. Chancellor could be, but I don't think so. Elish Norn's there. That's good. Archon's there. That's good. Iona. I can't quit. Yeah, Pithy Needle is... We'll go with that. Um, yeah, they're obviously going to play first. They have to. Um, if they run Leyline of the Void, and they have Leyline right off the top here, I'm screwed. I just kind of lose. Fun facts. Um, yeah, let's see. Is this keepable? Is... It's really not. In the category of hands, I would keep if I knew I was drawing a creature. This is it. If I knew I was drawing into a creature, I would keep this, but I don't. I have no way of knowing. Ugh. can't. I need things to work. This will have to do. Uh, we can play a hand attack strategy to start, but I don't think that's right. Nah, I almost wish I went to four there, because that's just how brutal that is. Um, they go DRS turn one. I'm in a bad spot. They're probably going to. I think the best of those hands was my seven. You know, there's DRS. Thoughtseize. Do I Thoughtseize or Thoughtseize or do I Thoughtseize or Death Rite? Or Kess. Kess is a problem. No, I think I Thoughtseize or Thoughtseize. An A graveyard. Ooh. That's, uh, that's relevant, actually. It's actually really relevant. We're gonna try this. I'm gonna hate myself, because I can enchant theirs, I think. Please don't say owner's control. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Cancel. That was an oops. Alright. Let's see how aggressive they go here. They're probably going to take the brutality. I don't see them taking the animate dead. Yeah, they take the brutality. That's the play. I might have made the mistake there of not taking the Thoughtseize, because I need to get rid of the Death Rite, but... I agree with my decision. What are they doing? What'd they draw into? Shit. Oh no! Oh, please give me a land. Please give me a land off the top. Come on, baby. That is not a land off the top. You should feel ashamed. I don't know. I knew what was there. That was dumb. But... Oh, of course they hit him right at the top of the deck. It's like, that sucks. That was the one card I couldn't handle. I'm gonna die by death, right? Shit. Yeah, 
now this is over. I'm going to play it out because I have no reason not to, but that's a crummy way to lose. Yeah, they're going to get rid of Kess. They need to get rid of Kess. <clears throat> nope, they're going to get rid of the duress. They're going to siphon me to death. That's fine. Pithing it. Pissing off the top, naming death I can save this for me. I'm gonna do it. But I'm not gonna go all out here. Chancellor's a dead card at this point, so I can get exiled. This is the part where they might want to start looking into. I'll gladly eat this damage if it keeps them from activating, taking, getting rid of Kess. Um, cause I, I'm gonna probably win through their creature there. Might as well force it. I don't want to, but I gotta. Yep, do it. That's fine. That's fine. Get rid of that. Two less damage. <clears throat> Puts me on a three turn clock. Yeah, no, Death Rite's such a good card that it's really hard to wiggle out of here. Um, and this deck, you have to aggressively mulligan. You want to attack? That's... Okay. Okay. I don't think they intended to do that. Just not take that damage. I don't know why they're doing that. Unless uh, they're running, they don't have targets. That actually changes things a little bit. I have to. I gotta set this up. I don't have a choice. I don't like not having a choice. Not having a choice. God force the interaction. Let's see if they think. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. I'm kind of in a bad spot. I mean, no matter what I did there, it was kind of like, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. Alright, so I'm taking th four next turn. I need to find an answer of some kind in the next turn, but I think it's done. I think they got there. Um, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. That's, damn, that's game. We'll see if they see it. I hope they see it. Yeah, they see it. Okay. Finish it out. Yep, there it is. No. Alright, so let's see what I was gonna draw. I'm curious. That sucks, that sucks. Ouch. Okay. GG, sir. We're one and two. Grixis Delver is kind of a brutal matchup. It happens. We'll deal or bug mid range. I I get them confused. They're basically the same deck. One runs Delver, one doesn't. It's basically the difference, in my mind at least. Feel free if you're a legacy player and has a problem with that assertion to uh Rip me a new one, but those decks are eerily similar. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep going. That was round three, so we got three more to go. If I win out, I think I can at least play. So I think I'm knocked out of top eight, although it's a smaller crowd, so maybe not. We'll see. Um, 
So that'll be it for this time. Uh, I'm the Maroon Warlock. Thanks for watching, and uh, deuces.